What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling. Now recently it was my birthday and my girlfriend actually got me some Fandu replica sidebars. These sidebars are compatible with the 2013 WWE Championship, the 2014 WWE Championship, the Red Universal, the Blue Universal and the United Kingdom Championship, both WWE and NXT UK. They are not compatible with any of the women's titles. Now if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, this is them right here. Now at first glance, glance you guys that aren't really into belts may not be able to tell a difference however there is a big difference now the wwe replica belts uh, and uh, the wwe championships on tv look like this and they have these sidebars right here now what you don't realize about the replica that's different to the sidebars if you don't have an eagle eye is these sidebars are so incredibly flat in comparison to the real tv accurate title now there's companies out there such as belt addiction Paul Martin belts and now fan do that actually offer thicker sidebars that give that more TV accurate look and feel to your replica belts. So what we're doing here today guys is I'm going to be putting these sidebars on my championship and giving you my in-depth review. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so here they are, the Fandu sidebars. Now quickly, before I get into an in-depth review, I just want to show you a quick comparison photo between the uh, stock WWE Championship replica sidebars and the real TV accurate sidebars, side by side, so you can really see the difference that I was talking about previously. Now these sidebars are set to weigh about 10 ounces compared to the uh, 3.5 ounces of the stock sidebars. They are also gold plated. I don't know what kind of gold plating they have, but uh, it says on the website that they are gold plated. They also weigh about 12.5 ounces, whereas the real ones weigh about three ounces. So that's the main difference. Now, if you look right here, you can see that these aren't actually perfectly circular sidebars. They sort of go uh, like straight up, then they curve at the top and then come straight down on the side. So that's one inaccuracy that I can see. Uh, mine are actually a bit dented and dinked. I don't know if you can see on camera. You see that little dink right there? Um, that's just from shipping. Now, what happened is my girlfriend said that she ordered these and when they came, she saw that little dink and she knows how much of like a perfectionist I am and how I want everything to be perfect. But the thing is with Bandu belts. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm just going to give you my 100% honest opinion on these and Fandu belts as a whole. I ordered a Fandu Big Gold in about, I want to say, late 2019, and uh, it was the perfect version, and when it came, let's just say it wasn't perfect. It had plating issues, it had a lot of things wrong with it, uh, but Fandu as a company, as a whole, this is the second thing I've got from them, and uh, their quality control just isn't that great, in my opinion. From my personal experience, I don't know, you guys may be different, but uh, when I order something, you know, she said that she complained and could see if she could get a new set, but... They told her apparently that this was such a minor uh, damage thing that they weren't prepared to send new sidebars out just because of it, which is a bit of a shame. You know, if you've messed up as a company, you should be able to fix on that issue. But hey ho, I'm not uh, I'm not complaining too bad. I think, you know, it's not really noticeable when you're looking at it from a distance. Well, anyway, these also come with these screws, which are meant to mimic the WWE screws uh, on the back of the replica belts. If the camera will focus, there we go. Uh, they are literally the same, you know, they, they look the same, they feel the same, the only difference is the actual screw bit um, is a little bit longer. Now, I'll explain why. The reasoning for that, guys, is because, and a lot of you may be turned off by this bit, these sidebars don't actually have posts. Uh, they don't have screw posts. They screw directly onto the strap flat, which uh, is a downside to these, which was something that when I saw, I was a bit like, oh... Okay, uh, because it might pull on the strap over time. I don't know. I haven't got mine re-leathered. Mine's a stock WWE strap. And, you know, I've looked at it and I just... I, I don't think it will, but the risk is always there for the screws to pull on the strap and maybe damage the strap. But anyway, in hand, uh, these weigh... You know, they, they have a bit of weight behind them. They feel good. Uh, they look good. And I think now it's time to compare them to the stock WWE sidebars and then put them on the WWE Championship. Let's do it. Okay guys, so here we have the WWE Shop stock sidebar on the right and the Fandu on the left. Now, as you can see on camera, uh, I didn't actually notice this before. I thought the plating was exact, but I don't know if it's just on camera because in real, well, no, I can see a bit of a difference in real life as well. There seems to be a ever, ever so slight 
uh, difference in plating, whereas this WWE shop plating is a bit more of a deeper gold, whereas this is more of a, like a faded gold. But I assure you, once they're on the belt, it's not very noticeable. Anyway, uh, they're pretty much the same length. I haven't measured exact, but if you can just see here, uh, just by looking on the naked eye, it looks the same. Uh, here's the real difference. Look at the difference in that. These sidebars are so flat in comparison to the Fandu. It is night and day. Now, these are $69, these Fandu sidebars, which equivalates to about £48.75. Uh, and I don't know if that's including shipping or not. I can't remember if Fandu does free shipping, uh, so don't hold me to that. But $48.75, uh, no, $48 sorry, is not a bad price at all, considering some of the Belt Addiction and Paul Martin sidebars, uh, the real 24 karat plated ones, are over £100. So this is a really good budget investment if you want to get some TV accurate style uh, thick sidebars without paying top dollar. But look at this difference, guys. Once again, it's night and day. The thickness uh, is incredible on these, and I think it may be a little too thick to be TV accurate, uh, but... I would rather it be too thick than too thin, but that's just me personally. Anyway, guys, that's the difference. That's the comparison between WWE Shop and Fandu. I think it's time we actually put the Fandu sidebars on the WWE replica and see how it looks. Let's go. Now, guys, before I start the time lapse of me actually changing the bars over, I just wanted to show you this quick comparison. These are the Fandu screws. I'm just going to get the camera to focus quickly. These are the Fandu screws. As you can see, they are quite long in comparison to the WWE shop screws, which are really short. Now, I'm going to try and hold it this way. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, these WWE shop screws are a lot smaller in comparison. Uh, they are probably, the Fandu screws are probably double the length of the WWE shop screws. But I just wanted to show you guys that this is because there's obviously no screw posts on the Fandu sidebars. Now, without further ado, let's time lapse me changing the belt over. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is my WWE Replica 2014 Network Logo Championship belt with the Fandu sidebars attached. Now, one thing I've noticed is the lack of posts on the back where you screw in the bars actually makes it a bit difficult to line up uh, the bars perfectly straight. I don't know if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me through the uh, reflection of the plating, but I feel like these are a bit slanted towards the right. I don't know if... I don't know, are they slanted? They look to be. The right ones look okay, uh, but these left bars, I feel like they're a little slanted, but I don't know. If you had posts on the bars, it wouldn't have you wouldn't have this issue because the posts would line up perfectly in the strap, but you don't, so there you go. You know, that's just something to take away from it. It might just be me, uh, you know, being a bit stupid, but I don't know. Anyway, if I lift up the actual... Uh, belt itself you can see how much these sidebars stand up you can even see me in the reflection uh hello anyway as you can see these uh these plates are about four millimeters thick compared to the 12 millimeters of the actual sidebars if you don't have base plates this might be a turn off for you i don't know uh, I know everyone wants to have the curved sidebars, but seeing them stick out this much from the belt is something that I can see a lot of people being turned off by. I'm personally not. I think it looks really cool. But, you know, it's, it's just something to think about. They are going to lift quite a lot off the strap if you get them. You know, that, that's what it looks like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up and bend the strap like this so you can see what they look like if you was to hold the title such as this. Uh, this is what they look like from the side, you know, that they lift a fair bit. And uh, yeah, overall, guys, for the price that they are, I think these are a fantastic deal. Considering that you can get Belt Addiction or Paul Martin ones for about £100, I, you know, I'm never ever going to pay £100 for a set of bars. That's just not something that I would do personally. So for £50, uh, I can't complain. And, you know, I can't complain at all. My girlfriend got me these, so I didn't pay anything. But have you got sidebars? Let me know. Have you got a WWE replica belt? I know that this channel is mainly dedicated to people who aren't in the belt, uh, like, audience. Um, not many wrestling belt enthusiasts actually watch this channel. So if you do have a championship replica, let me know. I'd love to know. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to Fandu Belts in the description, a link to this uh, sidebars page specifically. So if you guys want to pick up some of your own, you can just go into the description and click the link. Anyways, guys, let's do the outro at the desk. Let's go.
And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my in-depth review of the Fandu sidebars made for the WWE Championship title replica belt. Now, once again, whilst we're here, before we quickly end the video, I just want to give you a better look so you can see what they look like uh, like this. If I hold the championship at an angle like champions do, you can see that they look like that, hanging off the strap. Uh, but yeah, once again, overall, I am very, very happy with these. I think it's a great deal for the price. And uh, yeah, I, I just think it looks great. So, guys, did you enjoy the video? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Tops Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling related content and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye!